So the other day I showed you guys tips and tricks to have vegetables ready, prepared, on the go so you don't have to spend 20 minutes preparing vegetables just to be able to have them in, their di in your diet because they're very important to have every day and a lot of people struggle having those. Another thing people struggle with is getting enough fruits in their diet. Now I just got back from the store and I was lucky enough to get this whole bag of bananas that are, you know, a little bruised or you know, about to, to brown, so the store puts them all in a bag and sells them for $1.49 per bag. That's not per pound, that's per bag. Awesome, awesome deal. So what I do when the store has this special going on is I take the bananas and bring them home because obviously I'm not going to eat, you know, 25 bananas in the time that, you know, you need to before they go bad. So I take take them, peel them, and I just slice them into a bunch of different slices, about that thick. I mean, you can make them as thick or thin as you want. Um, and what I do is I put them into a bag and put them in the freezer. So I'm going to cut these all up and I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. So now, as you can see, I have a massive amount of sliced bananas cut up. I did save four bananas because I like to throw bananas into smoothies, have with peanut butter, PB&J sandwiches. Bananas just are awesome. Um, but I store these in the fridge because they will last longer in the fridge and I like them not brown, but not green, you know, perfectly yellow. So now that we have these bananas all sliced up, we're going to put them into a plastic bag to store for when we put them into the freezer. Now this cutting board that I have is really, really convenient because I can bend it and very easily just slide all the bananas into the bag. Once I get all the bananas into the bag, you want to try to push as much air out as possible and seal it up and just kind of, you don't want to smash the bananas, but just, you know, shake them so they kind of spread out like that because when you set them into the freezer, this is how they're going to freeze. And it's okay that you have them stuck together because you can break them apart, but you don't want it to be one massive glob. It's a lot easier to break them apart if they're spread out. You can always put it into two or three bags if you want to have just individual little banana chips if you want. And then you just set them into the freezer. And then whenever you're in a rush, or if you want a quick snack, you can just take the frozen bananas, pop them into a smoothie. You can take it and put peanut butter. I love peanut butter, so I'm always dipping my bananas in peanut butter. And just be creative. You have bananas that are not going to go bad for a very long time, and I bought them for $1.49. All right, so the next fruit I want to share with you is the apple. Now, apples are probably my favorite fruit. Not just because of the way they taste, but how easy they are to buy, to store, and to take anywhere with you. I mean, you can throw this in your bag. It's not going to spill or leak or crush. Now, you do have to be careful because it could bruise, but they're great, 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 great things to just have with you at all times. And you can store them in the fridge or just on a basket on the counter. That way, if you are snack prone, you see the apples on the counter, you'll take one of those instead of digging into the cabinets to find, you know, chips or crackers or anything. But apples, and also I have one pear in here, but I love pears as well. And pears and apples have actually been found to have the highest fiber content. Um, well, not the highest, but really high fiber contents, which is going to make you feel full after eating them. So if you eat an apple before dinner, you'll be less likely to overeat. Now, a lot of people try to shave the skin off apples. That's okay, you're still gonna get fruit from the inside, but 
the skin on an apple is actually where all the nutrients are, the majority of the nutrients are. So keep those skins on and you'll be doing good. Another option to get fruit in your diet is frozen fruit. You can buy frozen fruit at the store. Um, I usually look for the deals because like most frozen things it's not going to go bad for a while so if you buy it in large quantities when it's on sale then you can just stick it in your freezer and use it whenever you need to. There's tons of things you can use frozen fruit for. Like I said before, smoothies are great options for frozen fruit. You can also toss it into some yogurt. You can let it thaw out, put it in different dishes. Um, awesome, awesome idea to have frozen fruit in your freezer because some people need that sweet tooth. They want that sweet thing after they eat dinner. Fruit is a great option. So keep them in your freezer. You can also use grapes, which is another favorite of mine. Just buy the grapes at the store, wash them. I like to take the vines off of them so I don't have to do that later, but wash them, put them in a bag, and stick them in the freezer. Great snack. Kids love them too. So that's going to conclude on what I'm going to tell you about fruits right now, but I hope those tips help you out and you get those fruits in.